Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today is a double review of the High Grade Universal Century line RX-78-2 and the Zaku-2. So these kits are basically collaboration projects between Uniqlo and Bandai, so that way they can sell some of these nice Gundam t-shirts, and they can give away some of these cool little exclusive kits. But there is a little bit of a downside, whereas these kits are only available in Japan. So although they may be free in Japan, you know scalpers are going to be coming in and swooping as many as they can and selling them for extremely high prices, which I don't personally agree with. So I definitely want y'all to understand that, you know, these kits, as cool as they kind of are, they're very unique in the color scheme. You know, basically the Zaku and the, you know, RX-78 are inverted colors of each other. But regardless, I do think that they're fairly cool on their own right. But I don't think they are warranted a price tag of anything over maybe like 20 bucks at the most. Because, uh, I mean, these are free kits and they're very, very old. You'd probably be just better off painting them in your own color scheme yourself, and then just printing off some water slide decals. And even though these kits are not available at New Type, I do still want to give them a shout out. Uh, so if you do want to get any kind of kits that are, you know, kind of reminiscent to the Universal Century line, or if you want to pick up a Zaku 2, pick up a RX-78-2, definitely hit up their shop and then use that promo code Krosama because I do want y'all to save a little bit extra money. And you can maybe use that money towards something else like maybe some paints or some tools so that way you can better your overall building experience. But other than that, let's go ahead and move on to the review. So we're going to start off with the RX-78-2. The colors are very, very vibrant. I love the white on this kit. It looks very unique, to be honest. I don't really see too many kits with a very bright white such as this one. This kit's going to have a total of three different colors on it. So you're going to have that nice bright white. You're going to have a darker, more like wine red. And you're going to have a very bright and vibrant red. If you're expecting above average details on this kit, you are going to be a little disappointed, but that's not to say this isn't a good kit. I think it's a good kit for the time it was released, but obviously in today's standards, this kit is going to eh, not really hit the mark, but that means, hey, we have the knowledge now that we can improve it and do better, but with kits like this that are more kind of market campaigns or limited items, I don't really see the purpose of trying to enhance it because you can do that with the regular kit and you can get it for much cheaper so whenever you do purchase this kit or if you do purchase this kit i would definitely just keep expectations to a bare minimum the posability on this kit is going to be very low you can definitely pull off some pretty cool and funny little composes but unfortunately it's going to be very awkward to say the least uh, the ankles is really going to hinder it as well as those ball joint hips uh, it's not going to have the peg system like all modern day high grades generally sport. The only weapons it's going to have is the beam rifle and two beam sabers. The stickers that come with the kit are going to be for the eyes, the front camera, and the rear camera. And you can also apply some of the marking stickers right there on the chest, the knees, and the shield. And you still have a few more marking stickers to use after you've already applied the basics. Now let's move on to the Zaku 2. So with the Zaku 2, the colors are more inverted, so unlike the Gundam who had a majority of red all in the armor, this one's going to have a majority of white, and then many of the joints and just other little small parts on the kit is going to have that nice bright red. So like the Gundam has two different shades of red, this is going to have two different shades of white. So the chest and the waist is going to be more of an egg color, and then the arms, legs, head, and you know pretty much the armor parts is going to be, uh, let's just say like a bright white. The Zaku 2, however, actually has a much better range of movement, unlike the Gundam. However, there's zero movement in that waist area. But those better points of articulation is not going to save the Zaku from having some pretty awkward and goofy looking poses. So the only sticker this kit's going to have is going to be one for the mono eye. And the marking stickers are fairly identical to what you got with the Gundam. The Zaku is only going to come with two weapons, one being the machine gun. And it also has the heat axe, but I would just say that it's fairly loose. So you might have to do a little bit of modding, but if you do not want to mod it, and just putting it on an angle and making sure that it's kind of more straight and not at a, you know, kind of like a little turned angle. It should suffice, but yeah, that's kind of up to you. So I don't have anything else to say about these kits, honestly. They are products of their time and it really shows. 
the posability and everything else is going to be very limited but i still think you can have fun with them you know i i do enjoy a lot of these old gunpla because it really shows you where we've been and kind of where we are now so if you really want this color scheme i would highly recommend you go for the revive version of the gundam as well as the zaku 2 origin line uh just because you're going to get better you know a better quality kit uh, and if you really just like this color scheme, hey, you can apply that to those and maybe even do a little bit better color separation. And it'll ha definitely have better, you know, surface detail and everything on there. But that's it for me, guys. Just really wanted to, you know, showcase these two kits. Uh, they were free, very easy and simple. So that's, that's really all I had to say. Uh, but if you do have any kind of questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely get to you. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. And I'd like to thank all the members on this channel. They are truly helping me just up my quality and do better things with this channel. So thank you to those guys. And if you do want to look into on how to become a member on this channel, just click that join button and it will have all the description there.